Hi, I'm Trevor Conkergood. Welcome to this week's RNK Software Club's video of the week. And I'd like to say, if you haven't noticed by now, that we had an update to the Floriani software that came out just last week. And so we hope that you're excited about the latest features of the program and everybody has already downloaded and enjoyed it and certainly um, I wanted to also just mention that if you haven't visited the RNK Software Club that you really should because there are a ton of new videos there so let's just go right now and visit the club and I'll just go ahead and sign in so that we can see the exclusive members only content and if you visit to the update section of the website and you look under the Floriani software, there are videos. Of course, that's where we go to get the latest version of our software. And there's tons of videos to watch uh, of things that were new and what we kind of decided we'd call the summer 2020 update. Um, but these are the videos that I recorded for the Floriani software, um, specifically, you know, what's new in FTCU. Um, but that said, there are other new um, videos that you might be interested to watch. And so, for example, um, under updates, you can watch the updates for the new Rainbow software that you might not have heard about yet, or Creative Express, or there are updates for our Quilt software as well. And so, in general, this update was kind of special because it really tied together all of the programs in a way that was even more kind of cohesive than it was before and so essentially if you own any more than one of our programs you'll only ever need to go and download the one download that includes total quilter lettering master sketch a stitch um, ftcu or fusion and of course the new program which is called rainbow and so um, what you're looking at on my screen right now is actually all my software put together into one screen um, because, of course, I have all of those programs. And so they've all been merged into one. And so essentially um, what you're looking at is kind of my favorite desktop. I've got my total quilter tools on the left. Um, if I want to do some sketching, I've got my sketchbook tool tucked away right here. And of course, if I want to go make some fonts, I'll find the lettering master special tool here under my fonts. And um, so, yeah, this is all of my software. And I thought I would bring up this design because I wanted to demo to you guys how cool the new rainbow program is. And that's this new tool here that's now on my toolbox. Uh, because I own Rainbow, then I have this new tool available. And essentially, when you have an embroidery design or part of a design, like it can just be the text of your design or just anyone, whatever you select could be applied with this new tool. And um, I'll show you a little bit about it today. But like I was saying, if you visit the RNK Software Club, there are several different videos that you might be interested to watch. Uh, but basically, this comes with a bunch of themes, and so most of the themes that you'll see here came with the software, although there's a few extras because I've been making them and demoing while I'm teaching and whatnot. Um, but so, for example, if I choose up, oh, I don't know, electric, it'll give you a theme of colors that we decided were electric colors. And if you pull up princess, then it's going to give you princess kind of themed colors, etc., etc. And so these are themes that came with the software. And of course, rainbow kind of has those traditional rainbow style colors. Um, first of all, you can uh, choose any color palette that you want for your rainbow colors. So if you're working in Floriani Poly, that's great. That's the default. But that said, you can change the thread chart to any kind that you want. And you can make your own themes. It doesn't just have to be the ones that come with the software. So, for example, if I say new, it'll ask me to give it a name. So we'll just call this one club uh, video and say OK. And so there'll be a new theme with the name club video. And it always kind of starts out with like two colors. And notice how I can just drag this around to decide how much of the red and how much of the blue there will be. And if you're like, I wish that red was a light blue, you can click on it, scroll through your color palette and find the light blue that you wish it was and choose that. And so now we've got two colors. They're dark blue and they are light blue. And it kind of works like that. If you want to add another color to the sort of like selection, you just click right here. And now you've got another sort of chapter marker for colors. 
and you can select that color and say well I wish that one was kind of like an intermediate blue see what I mean and so it's really very easy to create your own blends of colors and not only that when you drag these little sliders around you get to decide exactly where within that design that color will get um, placed and so it's very very easy to use and that's our new rainbow tool there's also a blending feature so just as an example here why don't we take this color and delete it so I'm gonna select it and then click on the trash can to get rid of it and then basically if I say blend it's gonna blend uh, with some options so kinda like a side which side and we'll go both sides and two steps on each side and so it basically takes and goes from the dark blue to the light blue and gives you a gradient of blue colors and so you're really gonna love the new rainbow program um, if you want to learn more about it and find out uh, you know what it costs or how you can get it I know that there's a special I saw some information about if you buy the spectrum thread set it comes with it for the you know for a limited time only kind of thing um, but what I wanted you to know today was maybe you'd like to try these things maybe you own FTCU only and you've never really tried any of these other programs and that's certainly um, it, no problem because now if you look under the help drop down menu can you see the option here that says demo mode well with demo mode you can decide to see our other programs and so if you don't own them all then you could see just whatever you would like to see so for example um, if you were had FTCU but you wondered what it would look like if you added sketch a stitch well FTCU is essentially fusion plus the fusion upgrade I think the wording of this is a little bit funny but those two to combined equal FTCU if you own FTCU and you want to see what it would look like if you added sketch a stitch then uncheck lettering master rainbow and total quilter and say OK and the program restarts so it opens up in what's known as demo mode now the main thing you need to know about demo mode is this means you're trying the program and that's not necessarily what you own and so now I've got you know this is what it would look like if I owned FTCU and added the sketchbook tool to my software and so now you can come in and try the new sketchbook program and see if you like it um, and then of course if you do what you'll need to do is visit your favorite Floriani dealer to you know make arrangements to purchase a copy uh, but while you're in demo mode just notice that the save button has been disabled and so really it's a try mode um, even though you own all the FTCU tools when you're in demo mode you won't be able to save anything and so don't get carried away and create too much stuff um, if you wanted to try something else you can go to the next demo mode look I can go back to demo mode and say well look what would it look like if I bought sketch a stitch only and I didn't own FTCU maybe you have a friend that's thinking about buying it and you want to show them here this is what it looks like if you just own only sketch a stitch and you don't have FTCU and it could be the opposite maybe you only own sketch a stitch and you're wondering what it would be like if you bought fusion or FTCU and so that's why we incorporated this new demo mode so now I can go in and I can try the different modes of the software and so this is simply what it would be like if the only software I owned was sketch a stitch and so this is a standalone copy of sketch a stitch and you can do that over and over again go into demo mode say well I wonder what it would be like if all I owned was total quilter um, or maybe what would it be like if I owned total quilter plus sketch a stitch and so you can check off the ones that you want but just know that while you're in demo mode you won't be able to save anything and so it's really kind of fun to be able to um, I think that that's really indicative of today's kind of consumers that we like to know uh, more about the things before we invest our money and so I'm really um, excited about the new demo mode and your ability to go in and try Total Quilter or try Sketch a Stitch and we know that you're gonna love them and at least we hope you'll love them and that you will want to visit another store so yeah go ahead and try the new rainbow if you want to know what's the newest program from Floriani it's rainbow and technically a person could just purchase rainbow and not even own any other Floriani software and so if you were to purchase just rainbow this is what it would look like okay and so you'll notice that there are certain tools that are common to all Floriani programs such as 
the select tool or the magnifying glass and the ruler and the ability to put a hoop on your screen and the ability to choose a color palette. Those are all things that I guess you would find in any Floriani program. But uh, if you did own Rainbow, so maybe you've got a friend and they just bought Rainbow, then they would have a very basic text tool that it only comes with, I think, um, Rainbow comes with four fonts is what it comes with. And so if you're if this was your very first Floriani software, it would give you the ability to choose between Andrew, Anniversary, um, primer and rounded and so it, it does give you um, a very powerful little text tool for you know kind of um, an introductory to text with the Floriani software and so you can have fun with that um, and then of course we have the all cool rainbow tool right and a color play tool which is new to the rainbow software so when I choose the rainbow tool it'll apply my rainbow to the words my text or whatever text you have and again you can come in and choose whatever theme that you maybe have created or came with the software so we have a bunch of different themes and when you click OK it'll color your text into that new colorway so anyhow you guys you're gonna love uh, all of the updates to the Floriani software if you want to get out of demo mode when you're done with trialing the software what you need to do is click close and then basically you'll need to start the software again and when you do start the software again um, it'll start with whatever parts that you have registered and so because I've registered absolutely all of the Floriani software then I get everything that there is available to me uh, but like I said if you have FTCU then you'll have all of the FTCU tools but just not the sketch a stitch and the total quilter etc etc and so uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I want to show you one more thing about Rainbow because I think it's pretty cool. Um, so if I select a single color design like this snowflake, and it's going to open up. I, we just created, I think it was just this week that I digitized this snowflake in one of my fusion workshop classes. Um, that, and so it's a brand new design that I just made and it's basically manual digitized it's you know it would sew like any design just kind of run stitch satin stitch run stitch satin stitch and so it's a really perfect example of how you can easily go in select all your embroidery segments and click on rainbow and it'll apply that rainbow platform to your design now this is what I love about it so for example let's go with the the rainbow colors the sort of like uh, traditional rainbow colors you know from purple to red sort of thing and so notice the way it's coming up that um, like I was showing you these little color markers I can edit them even though this is the pre made one so for example if I was like I wish the purple would come right to the center I can just move it to make a little bit more purple and then that kind of finishes off this column with purple Let's see and then the next one is the blue and I'm noticing that the blue seems to be pretty good but the green has carried into the yellow can you see that and so we need to basically move the yellow to start sooner and that'll get rid of oh not quite all of it yet can you see that and so I'll move it a little further and now that's gonna oh still not quite enough and so maybe just oh, little tiny nudges in fact I haven't even tried to see can I use my arrow key to move these yeah, look at that. I can nudge with my... Oh, no, that looks like I just added a color to the design. That's interesting. Ha! Huh. Well, you learn something new every day. Nevertheless, <laughs> what I was really trying to show you is how I have the ability to move these little color markers around to get them to be exactly where I want them to be. And so um, there's all of the yellow. Now I maybe say, yeah, I want the yellows impeding into the orange. And so you kind of basically you can decide so that that way I can get it so that um, it looks like the green the yellows too f the green is uh, the yellows too far back now because it's going into the green and so I can just kind of keep moving these around until I get them to be just where I want them to be look there I think I've got oh, a little bit too much of that blue going into the green and so I start the green just a tiny bit sooner and so I kind of by just dragging those colors around can get it so that I basically have one color for each of the kind of arms of my snowflake and then there's this extra kind of like diamond star across the middle and I'm like yeah there's too much of that orange I'm gonna make it so that this one's the red and the dark red and so I just kind of move that around until 
I can see that the red has come to the beginning and then um, oh, maybe too far. And so you see how easy it is to click and drag those around and to get them just where you want them. And then maybe you want to bring the dark red over and kind of split that color in half. And anyways, when you're done and you've arranged all your things, you simply click OK. And now that is the latest color uh, scheme on your screen. Notice if I look at my uh, properties or my sequence view that all the colors of the design have been divided in. All the shapes of my design have been recolored to have the new colors. And so basically, um, it's a really cool new program from Floriani called Rainbow. And one of the coolest new features in your update to FTCU is the ability to use demo mode. Quick shout out to some of my other favorite new features and I hope you've watched all of the update videos in the RNK Software Club to learn about all the new features but I really love the new stitch counter uh, that when you use your slow redraw tool that it actually counts along. That's one of my absolute favorites. I really like the up and down arrows over here on the sequence view. Those have been popular. And um, I hope you enjoy all of the latest updates to the FTCU software. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. And so until next week, have a wonderful day. Thanks for listening and bye for now.